Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find how much money needs to be deposited into an account to obtain 3,100 future value, we call that, in five years if the interest rate is 8% per year compound continuously. Down here you see the formula we use for compound continuously. A equals P times e to the power of rt. So let's see what this uh, means. Well, a means how much money you have at the end of the period. So in our case, a is the future value. Um, then p is the gentleman we need to find out. r is the rate. And in our case, e is 8%. We're going to change that in a decimal, 0 0.08. And uh, then we have the number of years. We're going to keep that money, which is five years. So those are the things I'm going to plug it in. This formula we have, 3,100 equals the P is the, like I said, the thing we need to find out how much money needs to be deposited, e to the power of 0 0.08 times 5. Of course, you can do some simplification if you want, or you can simply divide by e to the power of 0. Point, I'm sorry, the t is 5. Okay? Times 5. And I think I can do that math. Let's do it. 0. 0.08 times 5. That will be 0. 0.4. I think it's not super complicated to do it. So we're going to divide by this guy to cancel this guy. And of course, the same thing on the other side. So let us me grab a calculator and let's do this math. 3,100 divided by e to the power of 0 0.4. And I end up with this value p equals... 2077.99. I round it to the nearest penny, the nearest cent. Okay, so in order to have $3,100 in five years, uh, over a rate of 8% per year, compound continuously, we need to deposit $2,077.99. And like I said, this is also called future value. You may hear future value in your classes, and that is the meaning, future value. And if you enjoyed this uh, example, don't forget to click the like button and come back at C-square for more help. Thank you.